Okay, in this video I want to uh, explain uh, something that's a little bit awkward in C++ and that has to do with uh, entering strings from the keyboard. So uh, let's just start with this which is similar to what you've already been doing. We have string F name, enter your first name, C and F name, see how your name is. And I put a square bracket here, F name, another square bracket, and end L, uh, so that we could see what exactly was being read in. So let's, uh, and keep in mind, uh, I'm using Visual Studio here just so I can do this interactively to explain some concepts to you. All right, so here it says, uh, enter your first name. So I'll put Steve, and I hit enter, and it says your name is square bracket, Steve, square bracket. Okay, so that's fairly straightforward. Now let's try this, Steve, space. Okay, well, all right, no difference. So that's probably good. We don't want to, uh, you know, have a space in your name, so... All right, we'll go with that. Now, what if um, what if I have a uh, a one of the few first names that actually has two words to it? So I'll just say um, uh, Steve Test. All right. Now you see it just says. Um, your name is Steve. So it just took the first part. So when I'm typing this in, I'm just going to get the first part up to the space and not including the space. And so in a lot of cases that works fine unless we change this question to enter your whole name. So let me just take the F off of this name here because we don't want to get confused by that. So all right, now it's going to say enter your whole name. So here we go. And I say Stephen Schaefer. And it still just says Stephen. And again, that's because if you use this approach right here to getting a string, you're only going to read it up to and not including the, uh, the first space. So it'll stop, uh, it'll find the space, and then it'll give you everything before the space. All right, well, the question then becomes how do we get the whole name in here? So let's do that. So what we're going to do here instead is we're going to use a function called getLine. Now, we haven't covered functions yet, and we won't for a while. So you're just going to have to believe me with this. Uh, this is how you call it. So it says getLine CN is the same CN you've been using with the uh, arrow operators. And then let's run this. And there you can see it took the entire string. Now, well, how did it know when to stop? So let's just run that again and look at it. Steven Schaefer. And now I have my hands off the keyboard and nothing is happening. Well, when does it know to stop taking the keyboard input? When I hit the Enter key, then it knows that I'm done. Now. When you're using Vocarium, uh, the enter key is in the input file, and so the exact same kinds of things will happen. But if you used C and arrow arrow name here, you would uh, you would miss my last name in that. All right, you would just get the Stephen and not the Schaefer part. So if you want an entire string, uh, including spaces. And what you're going to need to do is to use the getLine function. Now, it's also the case that in almost in most of the cases from now on, you just use getLine and be done with it. Um, and uh, and that's all fine. There is, however, one issue, and that's uh, can be pretty. Um, oh, let's just say it's kind of annoying. So let's look at this. What if I have and I say, see out what is your age. 
and then I say C and H. Now you notice this is an integer, right? So um, I can't use get line. Get line's only for strings, right? So your name is such and so, and your age is H. Okay. So, in fact, here, I'll tell you what we're going to do. First, I'm going to um, put this here. We'll do it this way. Enter your name, and then what is your, uh, what is your age. So let's do that. All right, enter your whole name. Steve, well, we have to worry about the fact that I typed the capital T. Stephen Schaefer, what is your age? We'll just pretend I'm 29. Okay. Your name is Stephen Schaefer and your age is 29. So that operates the way we would expect, and that's all fine and dandy. Uh, however, there is a reason why I moved this. So let's do it the other way around. Now, there's really it doesn't seem to be any reason why this should be any different. It's just going to ask in a different order. So I'm going to again pretend I'm 29. And then look, I just hit enter and it just stopped. Or it just went on ahead. It said, enter your whole name, and then your name is nothing, and your age is 29. Well, why is that? Okay, so let's watch what happens when I do this. When it comes up here and it says, what is your age? And I say 29. Now, nothing's happening until I hit the enter key. But the thing is, now this is pretty, pretty uh, esoteric, right? So... Say with me here. The thing is that an integer cannot have a new line or enter key in it. An integer says an integer. So this one's the 2 and the 9, and it says, okay, that's 29. We'll put that into age. And then we're going to leave whatever's left over sitting on what's called the keyboard buffer. Well, what's left on the on the uh, keyboard buffer is the enter key when I hit the enter key. And that enter key then gets read with this get line which ends on the enter key. And so therefore uh, you end up with this situation where I hit enter, it takes the 29 and puts it into age and that part's right, but look at this it never stops to ask me for my whole name because it gets the enter key and it says, oh, okay, you're already done. Well, this can be confusing and annoying. And so I just, there is a solution to it. And uh, of course there's a solution to it. Otherwise it would be a pretty bad language. Uh, and, uh, and yes, students have been getting annoyed at this for decades. Okay, but it is the way it is. I didn't invent the language. I'm just telling you. So uh, what you have to do is this. If you use this before, right before you're going to do a get line, then in between you're going to need to get do to do the following line. Cn dot ignore. And what that does is it literally ignores one character on the input buffer. Well, again, the input buffer is the, or the keyboard buffer is where I'm typing the answers. And when you're using Vocarium, the input buffer is that input file that you don't see, but is magically redirected for you. So when I do this, I get to 29, and then I hit Enter. It pulls that Enter key off of there and then says, Enter your whole name and waits for me to type the answer. So we have, what is your age? 29. Now I'm hitting enter, and now it says enter your whole name. And now I'm hitting enter again to finish this uh, name. And now it says your name is Steve Schaefer and your age is 29. Press any key to continue just means uh, we're done with running this program. Okay. Uh, so that's a pretty esoteric kind of down in the weeds detail, but you're going to need it. Um, and it say it just knowing that it exists will save you a lot of trouble trying to figure out why your program's not working. So if you ever see a situation where 
seemingly your input is just being skipped like this like it's not waiting well of course in your case it wouldn't be waiting but it would just ignore whatever the data is and it looks you know it'll come out looking something like this and and your data value that should have something in it doesn't well it's very likely that you need this cn.ignore and that will fix it up so it's not pretty but it's uh, it's the way it is and uh, so I needed to uh, let you know about that